Hi there, this is Adrian Green, Realtor with Sampson Properties, and I wanted to talk to my sellers or potential sellers out there to pass along a little tip as you consider selling your house, and that is the importance of communicating your priority list with that sale to your real estate agent. Remember that when a buyer and a buyer's agent are thinking about putting in an offer, they are often going to reach out to your real estate agent first and say, tell me about the situation, tell me what's important to the sellers, tell me what they need to have. And so the more you can pass on to your listing agent beforehand to give them a big picture of what is most important to you can help as you as you get started with that negotiation from the very beginning when the buyer's agent reaches out. So to give you an example of this, I often, I had some buyers and as a buyer's agent, I reached out to the listing agent and I said, hey, my buyers are talking about putting together an offer. What do we need to know about the situation, about the sellers, about the property? And the listing agent did not tell us that the list price was firm. In this area, often, you know, things, depending on the market, uh, things could be priced with some negotiating room in there. Not always, but sometimes that's a situation. And in this specific um, potential purchase, that's what would have seemed to be the case based on the days in market and the actual um, property that was for sale. It would seem like there would be wiggle room in the price. Um, but that was not communicated. And so we put in an offer that in a kind of unusual situation was just rejected with no counter. And so if, if the listing agent had told us that the sellers were pretty firm on the price and that she'd already had a conversation with them to uh, lead them to be comfortable with that list price in the first place, you know, as in they wanted to list even higher, uh, you know, kind of that subtext, if she had communicated to that, it would, have, it would have helped us, I think, reach an agreement sooner with less drama and hurt feelings along the way. You know, buyers and sellers are always emotional because buying a property, it isn't just a, a quantitative, logical transaction. You know, there's a level of emotion involved and that's why realtors help buyers and sellers so much because we can be removed from that emotion and help our buyers or sellers make the smartest choice rather than the emotional choice. But in order to let your real estate agent do that, you need to communicate to them what's important to you. Is your price firm? Is the price potentially have some wiggle room in it? Um, what about your deadlines? Do you have a date that you have to be moved by? Or are you flexible with your timeline? Um, do you care about having a seller subsidy or not having a seller subsidy? What are your thoughts on home inspection? There's a lot of aspects that go into this offer and by spending some time with your realtor so that they understand what you really value as a seller, it's going to help them communicate better with the buyer's agent so that we can all reach an agreement quickly and with minimal emotional drama along the way. So that's my quick tip for sellers today is make sure that you do communicate to your listing agent the bigger picture uh, of what's going on and how your house sale is fitting into your life so that they can use all the information possible to be the best possible representatives of you and your situation. So if you guys have any questions about listing your house for sale, I'd be happy to help out and answer them to the best of my ability. Adrian Green, Realtor with Sampson Properties. All my contact information is below and I hope you have a great day.